Hello, my lovely Scorpio. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Scorpio, welcome to your weekend reading for February 6th, going all the way to the 8th. For some of you, it might be till the 7th, and for others of you, it might be even longer than just a weekend. Sun, Moon, Rising Signs, and Venus Signs. Take what mostly speaks to you, leave what does not. Because you know there is hundreds of you who might be strongly resonating and others of you might be not. Sun, Moon, Rising Signs as always and as well many, many of you might feel like, well, what is the weekend for? And yes, been calling upon to do this reading probably because it's coming the new moon and the new moon coming up next week is in Aquarius and it's all about clarity, about truth, about seeing clear on the things and as well many of you you're looking specifically for that. Let's see loves overall energy for the weekend we have law of attraction and underneath we have the ocean it's like you are in tune strongly into your energy. But I feel here there's Scorpios who are practicing the law of attraction or very much knows how others of you just starting to do so. Each thought is an investment that pays immediate dividends. So invest wisely. You have the power to choose your thoughts and align them with love peace and harmony at your request we will gladly attune your energy to higher frequency for many of you you are raising your vibrations with law of attraction for others of you you do attract new love or you are into that whatever is here is like i truly believe that works and i truly believe that is coming for some of you doing so, it's more likely go around a water. It's like a stream of water, could be the ocean, could be a river, because you know nature brings better energies, clear energies. Let's see what this is all about and how we moving Scorpios. Let's see here, one overall energy. For some of you, you are at the crossroads into something and you, you do what you do because you need clarity. And that's why we are here, loves, for. Overall for you, we have full. There is something here is like, I wanna go and do it devil underneath letting go something here behind for some of you you just feel like i don't care but i gotta go there's something here you might leave a karmic behind or a toxic situation but it's feeling like well i don't want to waste my energy anymore there's something in that extent but let's see ace of wands ten of pentacles Hangman, Ace of Cups, Two of Swords. It's like whatever is here within two days, very soon. Because Swords for me are days. Queen of Swords, Knight of Cups, Ace of Swords, and Page of Wands. Yeah, loves, I feel here there is some something here which comes up as truth. Somebody here, if you didn't talk with somebody or there is a situation here, didn't move for quite a while, now is moving. You might connect here with the Pisces, with an Aries Leo Sag, with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a Capricorn. Could be another water sign as well. But I feel here is like 
this cannot continue this way. I got to talk to you. I got to tell you the things. And I feel here, this person, if they didn't open up till now, they will. There is clarity indeed here with this Ace of Swords here. There is clarity coming up. And it's clarity coming up in a very short time. And as you see here, in this 9, 10 cards reading, the only Ace is missing is Ace of Pentacles. The opportunity to be something stable. So if you manifested communication, that will happen. If you didn't, if you really want to talk to somebody and they didn't want to talk to you and you manifested for them to listen to you or talk to you or respond to you, they will. Okay. Let's see. Or vice versa. If somebody here, if you are the one who block communication, there is coming. But I don't see you blocking that. It's it's on the contrary. I see you. It's like I want to talk. I want to you know just to release this. I want to just get out from it. Things like that. It's not, it's like not you keeping the grudge. The other person. Hang me in. Could be you know a family member. Could be a love interest here because I see here family energy as well. Hangman, Queen of Cups. You can't stay where you are right now. You cannot stay in this energy that nothing moves. It's like, what's that? I'm not here to, you know, to stay stuck or anything like that. And for me, it's rather speak it up or keep your peace or keep your mouth shut all over the place all the time two of swords eight of swords like somebody here feels like well anyway that things will not be this way anyway the things will not go the the right way but the universe is telling that you cannot stay in this eight of swords you gotta move on you gotta speak it up yeah the universe is trying to move forward whatever situation here been or evolved so if you feel that a person here moved on completely and that's not that's not right But it's kind of they, they, they keep the, the monkey mind energy here, that the victim mentality. I don't want to talk to you because of this, because of what you've done, because you, whatever it is. But I feel here there is, there is that energy that, hey, let's, it's kind of, let's face the truth. Let's put the truth on the table. Ace of Swords, what's the truth for? Whatever was hurting, whatever was sad, because somebody here might say things and they quite hurt. It's like the, the verbal energy here. And here's the Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Cups underneath. Can we work on this? Can we repair on this? Yeah, somebody here wants to, to really stand up. I feel here there was a misunderstanding here, which evolved into something more. Let's see here, Queen of Swords, what do you are here for? Aquarius star healing two of cups and ten of wands and six of wands this person indeed they they want to give and take energy there's something here about a misunderstanding there's something here they didn't see they act upon it this person indeed might have a lot of air 
or fire sag leo in the chart but it's kind of like let's put this burden down and move forward it's kind of like face the truth so will set us free and that could be a person or somebody who you consider family or somebody who you had a family you might be separated from you might be at the distant from or it could be somebody quite stubborn you are dealing with okay but i feel here is like let's put the work on and let's come back here to this okay somebody here indeed is putting work in it's like taking a leap of faith into this and work things but what i'm seeing here the move forward will be and as well we have all the aces which is the opportunity of something new For some of you with the full energy here is who cares whatever was or there is an energy here is like we need to take things how they are and also the fool the fool is very much getting out from the cave is like from the dark to the light so we need light we need clarity in this because whatever is here hurts both of us. So that's what I'm seeing here, loves. There is a message, there is a call, okay? And there is clarity. So here we are, loves. My lovely Scorpius. That's what I have for you. And they are good opportunity for you to make it right or the other person. Flip the energy. If it's not you, it's them. Taking a leap of faith on getting over this conflict and talk again. There's something here like I don't feel this person talks to you. But I see here you might be the one who breaks the ice. For some of you, you needed some cool down time. You need to be away for a while from this person. But with the Wheel of Fortune here is like the divine time, which the time is two days, eight days, within 10 days as we speak right now. Okay. All right, loves. Many blessings to all of you. And we'll see you next time. Namaste.